Hello, you guys. Welcome to my page, Shady Lips. I am Carmen, the owner and CEO of Shady Lips. Today, we will have Love & Hip Hop New York star, Tyra Wallace, joining us for live. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. Hello. Hope you guys enjoyed this interview as much as I will. And it's almost time. So, listen, Linda. Who are these people? So, as Law Wall, I will let you join my live as soon as me and Tyra are done going live. I will let you join my live. You're hilarious right now, Carrie, because I have no clue what you're what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. As Law Wall, what you want to talk about? Like, what do you want to? What do you want to talk about on my live? I'm curious. A lot of people do want to go live with me and then they like don't either like they either don't show their face or they're like, hey, Sean Jacobs or they're like flossing or something, which I see on the daily at my house. No need for me to watch anyone else floss. So, you know, whatever. Hello. How are you? How are you all? So, let's see how this works. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I, I appreciate that very, very much. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh gosh, that was funny. Oh man. So while we wait on Tyra to join, um I'm not I was just waiting on you to respond because I knew it was coming. I was just waiting on it. This is so awkward. Like, this is like waiting to meet someone in the parking lot. And you know how it's like awkward when you stand outside the car. Nothing. What's up? What you got going on? Um, in I can't even say that, but E N T C H S N R E D underscore G I I U V. <sighs> you know I don't control people, babe. There's really not too much I can do. All right, so Miss Tyra has joined us. Let's get ready to go live with her. Let me see, did we do it right? Doo, doo, doo. All right, you guys. Pretty excited, you guys. <laughs> I see, Carrie. <laughs> hey, Tara. Oh, wait, let me make sure I can't hear you. Okay, there we go. Yes, I can hear you. Hey. I try to try to get cute real quick. <laughs> my it's edges. Okay. I tell them we're we're moms. It's okay. I have. Well, I'm children. like my edges want to maybe great. I'm like, oh god. It's all right. It's all right. We don't. We need. We don't need great edges. We all. We all know what it is. It's fine. Yes. Okay. All right. I hope can so, see highlighter though. I put some highlighter. Oh, uh, popping, popping highlighter. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lang time ponytail. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Overwhelmed. It's the middle of the day. It's like one o'clock and I'm overwhelmed and anxiety and work and stuff like that. Where are the babies? They're, the babies are at school. Thank God. Oh, all my babies don't go. I think my three-year-old, she stays at home and then I have one in pre-K. She gets out like in the middle of the day and I don't understand that whole thing. Yeah. It's like, I, wait a minute. Where, where do you live? I live in Texas. 
on the middle of the day? Because they're supposed to stop all that pre-K middle half days here. So now um, I think pre-K is all day. We need to move there then. I'm going to tell my husband, we need to move there because this yeah. is not work for me. I mean, you may, have to, you may have to move into a box with your yes, kids. Yeah, <laughs> because, you know, that's how much working. the rent is. But at least you'll have all day daycare. <laughs> Okay, so everybody on my live that doesn't know, this is Tyra. And I hate giving you the title from Love and Hip Hop New York. I just want you to be Tyra. I like You know, I, I do the same thing. Sometimes I think I talk about it too much. or uh, And then some, because I feel like that's all, I, I feel like I kind of program myself. That's kind of all I talk about. And I, mm -hmm. I talk about just that. I don't give a lot of myself. So people who are close to me or people who have gotten to know me, they're like, you know, people just don't know who you are. That's what I'm like. And I was like, they don't. And they're like, no, they don't. And I'm like, oh, shit. That's what this is going to be about. We don't want Tyra from Love and Hip Hop. Right. I want right. just Tyra Wallace, the mom, the JSU graduate, you know, the, That's Sonic, right. Bo the Sonic Boom graduate. That's you know, right. Yeah, I, I want that person. <laughs> so go ahead. Let my followers know who is Tyra Wallace. Uh, Tara Wallace, you know, um, I'm a mom, I'm an actor. Uh, that's what I actually moved here for, you know, mm -hmm. grad school, uh, uh in theater, uh -huh. uh, which is very funny. People are like, oh my God, like, what's a, what's a theater degree? Why would you have to get a master's in theater? I'm like, well, mm -hmm. shit. I wish I would have told when I was on probation, y'all would have told them that. Cause I <laughs> <laughs> my ass on probation one time and had to go before the board, you know, right? some stupidness I did, but, um, um, you know, and I'm always kind of like, you know, I became a mom at some point in my 30s. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, but I had a full life before that, you know, right. friends and pounding the pavement, failures, successes. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, making two steps forward, two steps back, like, you know, life, like anyone else. Life, it happens. Yeah, but through it all, I was extremely uh, hopeful. And, and I always believed that at some point, whatever road I took would lead me back to my passion, which is acting. Right. Which is the thing that makes me nervous and scared and, and am I good enough? Am I, you know, like all of the things, right. that, the insecurities that go along with whatever greatness you're trying to accomplish in life, I still mm -hmm. encounter those insecurities and have to, you know, walk through them to, to try to obtain what I'm trying to do. So as a mom, because like I said, I'm a mom of four. I have one boy and three girls, which kills me on a daily. I'm... I wish I had boys because the hair, the amount of hair combing I do and trying to like nourish hair, it kills me. And I'm blogging, my husband goes to work and I feel like I'm about to die. Like, oh my God, where is like the time for me? How do you balance just like your career, being a mom? I don't know, are they in after school programs? Or are they in programs? You know, like, I keep, you... people say that, you know, that I, I sometimes I know it sounds good in theory. But uh, the problem is, is that it's such a, an unrealistic statement. Mm -hmm. You know, make time for yourself. You know, the one thing is that your children didn't have to be here. Right. So uh, the amount of sacrificing you have to do sometimes just does not lend to time. Right. Place, especially if you have to work and you're working. Oh, yeah. Life, right. And um, so, I, I mean, in theory, it sounds good. I remember, I, like, so my, the, my laser hair removal. Mm -hmm. and, and thanks to a couple of people that I found out the bush is back, but I'm like, I just started my, <laughs> I went gone. And it was, I was doing my laser hair removal uh -huh. and then the summer happened. So I'm talking about, I'm with these kids morning, noon and night. Oh yeah. So, uh, uh, I was like, okay, he's in back in school. I need to, you know, get my appointment. She's like, well, you just have to make time for yourself. And I was like, only How? someone who doesn't have kids <laughs> could even say something like that. I'm like, do you really think I, you know, want to miss my, the amazing laser hair removal appointment. To be with my kids. <laughs> like, no, I'm like, it just, it just doesn't happen that way. So, um, you know what? It, it does not come without a lot of failure, you know, a lot of yeah. disappointments, um, in terms of the expectation. Um, and because I, I, you know, I was a certain personality, that personality still lends for, uh, people to have to get to know me because I'm uh -huh. not a, a necessarily a type. So, right. I, you know, my time there is not a set time. Like, oh, we know who she is. Like, I still have to show up and try to show people, yeah. you know, what it is that I do. Um, uh, the only difference now is is um, I'm really realistic with myself. I know mm -hmm. who I am. So if, I, if I'm going to fail at something, I probably know it before it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Because I, okay, I, 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 I know who I am. But also, um, um, I started working with someone, and we set extremely realistic goals 
mm -hmm. of what pressing forward looks like. Okay. You know, so moving forward does not mean, you know, you go from one to 10. You're right. You know, so um, there are times or there's some months where we have to really sit down and regroup and say, this, this month, these are the things that we have to do. And mm -hmm. this is at the end of the month, this is what we have to invest in your personal business because no business succeeds without um, uh, money, unfortunately. Right. I don't care. People always like, I got ideas. I'm like, I got a million ideas. I don't need no more goddamn ideas. I need some money. That's like, what I need. Like, we need backing for those <laughs> ideas. So because um, I'm backing my own projects, sometimes I have to work. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, you know, for the, the, uh, what is it? Food, clothes, shelter. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, sometimes I get to work and then invest that into myself. And that's, that's been the awesome thing is so that when everything does, um, turn over, I can really look at that and say, that is something I created. Yeah. That's all me. I think a lot of people get it confused. Like, oh, well, she was on Love Hip Hop. So she's rich and she's this and she's that. And I'm like, y'all, yeah. it's a paycheck. Like, people forget that real life still happens and yeah with me starting a blog and it actually flourishing because it's like you kind of go to sleep and then wake up one day and you got to kind of keep up with everything i'm like dang now i gotta cook so i can't be on on the internet like this and i gotta do this with the kids and do this right and like, i think the only time i get to myself maybe when i take a shower if my husband is at home maybe right like, because I, like sometimes my showers i have to do the doors so i can just hear if yeah so you fight if there's someone who hits somebody you know, oh yeah. whispering like you better not tell mama that I'm you know so I'm I'm like Girl, also, if that even my, my shower and I'm trying not to splash the water I'm like I'm listening <laughs> I hear what's going on yeah it's hard it's hard I really but, um, hear my kids doing it like I hear my oldest and you better not tell mama I'm like hold on don't tell me what like right. they think I can't hear yeah and we do this thing me and my husband where we tell each other everything and the kids don't know so when one of us when one of us says something the other, they're like how do you know Cause we know everything. I can see you in the back of my head, like right. Like I it's already know crazy. what you're thinking. I already know what you're thinking. Yes, children. Yeah. Children. I love my children. I get to this point, like when they're gone, like I'm wondering what they're doing when they're with my mom or somebody. What they're doing if they're okay. And then yeah, you can't. You like, no, your children cannot leave your sight, and you're ever comfortable. Yeah, they cannot. Like, I don't care how tired you are. If you wake up one day and be like. I don't like these kids. I do not like okay. them. Okay. Like the moment you leave, you're like crying. Like, how could I ever say that? Let me go get my kids. I don't Are like they okay? Kids. I'm yeah. calling my mom and she's like, didn't I raise you? I'm like, yeah, that's probably why I'm calling to check on them because I know. Right, like, right, right. <laughs> no, that's I know so what funny. You, did. I know. you know, it's, it's crazy because, like, you know, there, there are many uh, sides to myself. I can, somebody was calling me. You know, I, I, and. Oh, it's okay. Something I do want to address is like, um, so I, I posted like an old picture the other day uh, of uh, this time I was in Barbados and I was like, these are my body goals, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just amazing how the women and I, and I always say this and talk about this in some respect, how women are so bashful of other women. <laughs> Right. And so, oh, you're a mom or you're too old for this. And I'm like, I'm too old to show skin. Like I'm too mm -hmm. old to sexy. I'm too old. Like, you know, and, and I'm like, I'm, I'm 42 years old at the height of my, my sexual appetite. Right. And I'm supposed to be a hobbit in a robe. Yeah. That's what people, you know what? I get what you're saying. I can't a lot you. of people do that. And then I go to their page and I'm like, hello. hello. Well, are you, are you covering your speaker? Cause I can't hear you. Uh, -uh. let me see. Can you hear now? Barely. Let me turn it up. I might Can you hear now? I'm going to go back down and go back in. Okay. Okay, so Tyra Wallace is going to come back, but everybody who's watching, thank you, thank you. We're just having a problem with the sound, so give us a second. She'll be back. Are you guys enjoying the interview so far? Da, 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 da. Thanks, all y'all, for tuning in. Ain't she, though? Even with her ponytail. She is amazing. <laughs> hey, you guys. All right. She's back. Let's see. Well, Jazz3733 inbox me. Can you hear me? Hold on, wait. I can't hear you. Oh, there you are. Okay, okay. there we go. <laughs> Listen, you know, on the next update, they're going to have to fix this uh, live situation. I'm telling you, people be like, I can't hear you through my AirPods, or I can't hear you this way and this yeah, way. And I'm like, 
I'm like, I can hear you, but you can't hear me. I don't know. Yeah, they got to fix that. So one of my questions was, I'm not going to lie to you. I hate when people lie to me. When I first watched Love and Hip Hop, I was like, where did Tyra come from? And why is she so mad? And then I was like, oh, damn. Y'all, they only be showing us half of everything that's happening. This is like recorded over a span of time. And yeah. then I watched the show, the show more, and then I started following you. Then I started following Amina. Then I started following Peter, and I was like, bro, I'm not mad at nobody with Peter now that I think about it. I'm, I'm mad at no one. And right, then right, now, right. now in today's time, I look at you, I look at Amina, and I think both of y'all are, like, amazing women. I think both of you guys are amazing parents. And I wanted to know, just for my personal self, probably I, other people probably want to know, too, but how do you come to terms as like how to co-parent with Amina? Cause I see that you guys kids are like together when she comes to New York, was that an easy thing for you? Or was it just like, you know what? My children don't deserve what we yeah, have. You know what? So, okay. So, you know, uh, we do have to uh, make a correction. It's not that people always say, you know, when it first happened, why is she mad? I'm like, like uh, some fucking crazy shit just happened in my life. And I'm forced right. to deal with it on the camera. So it's not just anger. It's like hurt. It's disappointment. It's who the hell is this woman? It's right. What the fuck is going on? You know, like, it's all of those things. And no matter what you film, it's only so much of it that can be seen. Right. Um, then, you know, I, I went through a lot of phases. I went through annoyance. I went through, um, uh, you know, I, I, there were just many, many layers. And I think that there was a point where uh, the, my, a lot of my frustration with her came from, um, and we've talked about these things since, is that I think that she thought he would only lie to me. Right, right, right. Like, like, okay, like, this is what he's telling her, or she would do interviews, and I would hear the interviews, and she would go, well, mm -hmm. he told her that he said this to her, and the, and the person would be like, do you really think? So <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot of things, or even when people try to make jokes of it, I'm like, uh -huh. you just better be careful, because infidelity and cheating is a very common thing, and you it's just better be real. ready when that shit happens to you, and how your heart, and how um, you're going to handle it. Um, so, and, I, and there was another thing where um, they, they kind of put it where um, you know, uh, reality TV is like a microwave. Whatever's happening happens. Like, you know, it's got to be heated up in 30 seconds or right. to a minute, right? So um, there was this uh, unrealistic expectation of my recovery time. And then I feel like there was a, also a, um, um, a, not the first season, but definitely mm -hmm. like the first season I did, but definitely the second season. Um, just everything that happened, so much of it like, kind of got left out. Right. But you know, that's reality TV. So I did, uh, I mean, not to elaborate and go on and on and on about that, but it was just a crazy time that, you know, and, and uh, uh, this is what I was going to say. They made it like, okay, we both, we both met this guy and we've been dating him for a year. Right. And kind of like choosing. And, but like everything in our lives was still linked. Every single thing. Uh -huh. So the, even when I kicked him out, like we were still like, you know everything was still so linked and together right it was so, it was literally um um like getting a divorce and what that means separating moving to another house separating bank accounts separating like i mean just you know everything and um so you know that was the i think the only thing that frustrated me the most mm -hmm. was like you know that no matter what the story is it is subject to editing and no matter how you repeat it, no matter how many times you say yeah. it, people will never understand. This is real life. Like, this is not yeah, yeah, real, yeah. real life. This is not fake yeah. life. Or I, I said this on another show one day. I was like, oh, oh, when a woman is having a hard time, people say, oh, she has low self-esteem or, oh, Tara's the stupidest one. I'm like, how? Yeah. <laughs> how? Like, I mean, you know, or, or, um, uh, or just, you know, if a woman is going through a hard time, right, or... You know, because this is how women can be. You know, we know that it's over, but we're still connected to the person. Right. And that is going to take some time. Um, because I didn't do it overnight, mm -hmm. then there was like, oh, she's stupid. Oh, she went back and had another baby. It's like, we, right. were, we were never, we were going through all of this breakup, but we were still so connected. Or she got pregnant on an air mattress. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, I mean, I do have a job, y'all. Okay. It's like, I'm like, some stuff is set up for TV and, 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 and scenes and, and literally that apartment had to be taken, put up and taken down and like uh -huh. put up in an hour, taken down an hour. And I, and then they drove me home. Uh, cause, um, you know, some stuff is just for the, the, the shock factor of reality TV. Right. And sometimes in that respect, we, we went along with it because, uh -huh. um, um, at some point I stopped taking the show so serious. Uh-huh. 
And um, uh, when, when I say serious, I mean, I understood that in order to be in reality TV, um, there are shock, there are shock factors. Right, and that right. is what makes juicy TV and being that an is. actor, you know, sometimes I, I, I gave into it and, um, and I don't regret it. I don't, I, 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 the one thing that I do think people are, some of my friends are like, because people don't know me. I've also said, I don't really give a fuck about people knowing me. If the people who yeah. are around me and they get to know me, okay. And if they don't, okay. It is what it is. It's fine. Yeah. I definitely appreciate, cause there's a lot of girls that follow me, that fall out with their baby daddies and they don't know that a lot of the time what we as adults go through, the kids don't deserve that. Especially when the dad or the mom has been in there lives yeah. forever from the beginning they don't deserve the disconnect because we can't yes, get them home. exactly and a lot of people would think a woman is stupid for staying or trying to make it work or for hanging right. out so i applaud you and amina because that is it's a lot of people in the world who can't do that they they right. will literally take their children and be like no nah, you go do whatever with her and all along you're yeah. hurting your child so i definitely appreciate and applaud that i love that you guys do that yep 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 the next thing is, so I was wondering, your favorite slogan, your favorite, you know, it thing is for the kids. Is it? Like, I, is, like it is. <laughs> that's kind of like, okay, did I even really say that on the show? Girl, you said that so many times. I was like, oh, oh it's for the kids, y'all. It's for the oh, kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so yes. And then I, was like, I didn't realize I used to say that. And when Jess Hilarious made such a, um, a video of it, uh -huh. you know, because I, I, the thing is, I can laugh at myself. You know, sometimes... I'll be watch. I'll you know see an old episode and, and I'll hear myself. I'm like, what voice was that, girl? <laughs> you know. Uh, so you know. So I, I'm able to make. I'm able to make fun of myself. I don't take myself so serious, even in the hardest yes. of times. So for the kids, I've always felt like, you know, uh, there were things that I did do because of them. You know, mm -hmm. and so maybe that's where it gets. <laughs> But then uh, she said, I only sleep with people, Peter, for the kids. For the kids. <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever thought about, like, doing a children's book or, like, a line, a clothing line or anything? Yeah, well, I, did write, for the I kids. did write a children's book. I, do, I am working on a clothing line, but nothing with that slogan for the kids. Well, just remember, it's out there because, you know, we love it. It's a lot of people who will be in my comments if I post you. Did she take this picture for the kids? I'm like, probably, y'all. She probably took it for the kids. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. You know, because they're like, oh, you know her for the kids. And I'm and like, their thing. I don't even take it for granted. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, shoot. You know, it, it, it's, um, it's, um, there, there's some women out here who understand. But also, yes. you know, even people, <laughs> let me tell you something. They take these old scenes and post them out of order. And uh -huh. when I read the comments, I'm like, where have y'all been? Like, are y'all just watching this? Like, okay, you know, or, or like, did you guys forget what was going on at that time? Because like, you know, once the, I think sometimes maybe people didn't tune in the first season or when they right. did tune in or whenever they tuned in, they people kind of pick up where they are, not knowing the prior history. And so they just kind of comment on these things. And I'm like, oh, my God. I, like, <laughs> like you're so late. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just late. Just late. And I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe this This. This episode can evoke this kind of emotion out of people to uh -huh. type some of the stuff they type. And on a Sunday morning when I have nothing to do, you know, I may respond, like, literally all day. Or yeah. Something. You know, if I'm not doing anything or I'm in the bed or I'm like, I got time today, what is what, you know, that's what they say. And I'll respond. And no matter what I say, I, it's like I can't even be nice. And and that's how I'm in real life. When even if someone's going off on me or going crazy, and, uh -huh. I, and I realize I can't get an edge in, or a word in edgewise, I just like okay, that's fine. You whatever. That's I do that on my own. Tell my me show. out. Tell me out. Just like it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I I just tune out. I tune out, um, especially if people are kind of being irrational. And so uh, that's what will happen if I respond, and then people will be. And I'm like, you guys are really angry at me because of some man in your life right who's done you wrong that had nothing to do with me and so because you didn't have the balls to say it to that person that you couple to a by page or a blog and say it. And I'm like, <laughs> and look and say it to me <laughs> right and i'm like you know what y'all i'm like all right y'all all right do as you please so what what's coming up for you what what are you what are you working on that you can kind of tell us about now um uh i do have a clothing line um which kind of features evening wear? Well, not okay. kind of, it, 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 that's where we're starting. Like, we want to be the go-to for um, your night out. You know, the, okay. uh, the, 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 the place to go when you want to go and find a sexy dress to go out. Oh, yeah. 
Um, I've been auditioning. Okay, like, okay. Like, seriously auditioning as if, you know, I found the audition in backstage. I get my camera, I set it up, learn my lines. I pay for an hour with my acting coach. Um, we, you know, break down the scenes. And sometimes I got to get the kids involved. I'm like, listen, mama needs you to hold this camera straight. It be look, it be like that yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it get like that. I really yeah. appreciate this interview. I am so certain that whatever it is you're trying to do is going to go far. It's going to happen. The acting is coming. I know we'll see you on a screen yes. real soon. But here's the deal. Like, you guys cannot forget. Forget. I forgot to pull it out prior. I had this ready for you. I thought I had it ready for you. Maybe I took it out and I lost it. <laughs> oh, oh, here it is. I'm bugging. They better not forget to go pick up my book. Go get her book, y'all. Amazon.com, right the goddess potential. Why you say, well, how dare she write an uplifting <laughs> book? But who better to uplift than the person who's on the floor and pick themselves okay. up? So um, that's the know, best kind of book to have. So it's not just about, um, it's a very interactive book um, mm -hmm. you know, for you to take notes, for you to just take just some steps to remember yourself, even in the midst of it all. Um, even for, you know, if you're a mom, you can't get out, you know, you yes. really have to train your brain um, to think uh, in such a positive way to keep your, your own spirit, body and mind in a healthy, safe place. There's a lot of mental illness out here. Um, and I don't say that lightly because there are things that can happen to us that affect us that we're not even aware that it's oh, affecting yeah. us. Um, and uh, another thing I talk about, because I suppress so much of the anger, you know, sometimes you go mm -hmm. through something. And, I, and honestly, you may have to take a bat and bang somebody's windows in, but you can't because mm -hmm. right? your mom. Okay, there we go. Okay, so because I didn't, you know, some of my hair started falling out. So I started dealing with alopecia and mm -hmm. a lot of things that I suppressed. But, you know, I just want to make sure that people know that it starts with retraining your brain, you know, working on yourself from the inside, even in a confined space. Right. And, um, and just, you know, really take that that time, that, you know, five minutes before you go to bed, 10 minutes before you go to bed yep. and um, read and, and work on yourself with the goddess potential. A lot of people will forget that they have to take care of self and yeah a lot of people hide it and i don't even think we know that we're hiding it because i've been so stressed out before and i didn't even know it was stress i'm just talking to my mom i'm like i got this headache my hair is, is shedding what you stressed about i'm like i don't feel i don't even feel stressed and you stress yeah. me, you don't even know it but like, i, I think that's, that's that's what i think as, as women that's what we do we suppress the stuff because that's kind of um what we've been taught, we have to not really deal with it. And we, and when we deal with it, we have to deal with it in the most um, respectful way, the girliest yeah. way, the, the quietest way that doesn't offend or affect anyone. And, and, and the same time is causing havoc on, on our own bodies. Yep. Meanwhile, we're being strong for everybody else. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. Somebody, so... said my ponytail, somebody said my ponytail is struggling. My ponytail is not struggling. I just trim my ends. <laughs> Y'all, y'all, y'all gotta leave my party so long. They look, we cut in so that hair can grow. Just for those who don't. Yes. Cut and 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 and, so and, and here's grow. the deal, women, women. I need you guys to stop associating hair with beauty. People are beautiful, bald. People okay. are beautiful with long hair. I, I always have medium length hair. It will always be. And thank God for wild ebony because I could just slap on a whole <laughs> wig. I'm literally teaching my oldest. My oldest is ten. And she has this natural hair that everybody cuts their hair off and tries to grow. Like yeah. She has that kind of hair. No perm, no nothing. And I don't know what to do with it, but braid it. And I try to teach her, this is the most, this is, it's not about your hair. Because we live in a area where we're like probably one of five black families. So everybody else's hair is naturally long and, you know, doing its own thing. And I'm trying to teach her, this is, your hair is beautiful. It doesn't have to be straight to be beautiful. It doesn't yeah, it have doesn't. to be whatever black girl hair is amazing hair just so you yeah, know yeah yeah and, and every and, and, and it, you know that's you know it, and it's okay we can do many things with it like now in 2018 with everything that's going on the least of any worry should be hair right you know? <laughs> or or even if it's your worry through an illness you know because we can't take for granted people losing their hair not just from alopecia but from chemo you know no. um it's a way to to, to try to make that, that journey a little bit lighter with protective sketch styles and wigs and weaves. And, the, and, and listen, that's something that people just didn't have. Or they, to, to even be able to afford something like a, a really nice wig. And 
And these are the things that we take for granted now. So, you know, I like to be able to take my wig off and trim my ends and wear my real hair. Right. Free. I like real hair. We all good. Wigs, real hair, no hair. I don't care. All hair is great hair. <laughs> it's all great. H hold on one second. Hold on. Are you guys enjoying? Because I am. Hey, babe. <laughs> oh, you guys, this has been a... Who, who is this person? Who do you love? Someone said, I love you, baby. Who do you love? I know. Isn't she like... Those are the kind of interviews you want with people who are honest, who are real, who are... She was like, hold on, I was trying to make sure my ages was together like she was just trying to get it together let's see there right, we go i'm here for the locks my mama has locks i'm here for the locks can you hear me i don't wait i can't hear you can you hear me I think we broke it. I can't hear you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there Wait, you no, no, my, my best friend called me, and when she called me, that messed up our lives. Like, so the last, like, five minutes, I could barely hear you. So I'm like, let me go back out and come in. And then that Oh, no, up. it's okay. You can call her back. So I definitely appreciate you doing this interview with me. And yeah. All the new things you're doing, I wish you so much luck. You can always inbox me so I can post about it. I, got I know, you. I know. I got you know, you. It's, it's so funny because even when I when I when I meet different girls out and they have blogs and you know, I take so little personal. Like that I think that's my mm -hmm. problem is that I take very little personally. It takes it's a it takes a lot to offend me. Even if someone says something crazy, I'd be like, What? <laughs> and a lot of people don't know I think a lot of people are they are just so and I don't blame them they're just so guarded when it comes to blogs because some blogs are ruthless like they will talk yeah. about your children yeah yeah, yeah. I, so you know, on I, so I forth take, I don't even take that personal because like you know I just feel like you know if people are talking badly about somebody like what a rough what a rough road to right. um, be comfortable uh doing those things but I've met I've seen blogs out and once they meet me, they're like, oh, my God, you know, I'm sorry I said anything bad about you. And, right. Like, you know, and I tell them, I'm like, I don't even take that kind of stuff personal. Um, um, I just, you know, I think it's just, you know, we, we I don't like it. Right. You know, I, I, I feel like people deserve their privacy. Uh -huh. um, and I don't like how pe how um, there are certain levels of things that exploit other people. So I don't like that. Right. But um, I do understand that there is some level of. Um, reality TV or or any type of uh, uh, fame or people who know you or Instagram mm -hmm. popular however you want to call it that <laughs> lends to people um, wanting certain information. So I do understand that, um, but but that's why you know even my friends uh, I keep my circle very small. My friends who are, my friends now are my friends ten years ago, twenty right. years ago. Like this one because I'm like forty like, twenty years ago. Yeah. Or like people who misunderstand things and, and it's like if you if I can't, you know, help that person understand, I'm like, you know, then it's probably best we not be cool. Right. Hey, who is that in the background? <laughs> Come here. I'm joking, I'm joking. My whole husband, he just walking past. Hey, ho husband. Come here. She said, hey, ho husband. The kids are home. The babies are home. They like snuck in the house. He's supposed. He got to make sure his edge is right. <laughs> we got to tell him I understand to put a little water in and get the brush and slick it back. <laughs> Say hi. Hey. How you doing, old husband? I'm all right. You? I'm well. I'm well. Yeah, listen. What 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 time is it? There is one fifteen. What these kids doing home at one fifteen? Right. They get out early. Half a day. They gonna have to go to after school. Okay. <laughs> Look, I don't mind. Let's move to New York. We can all get a one bedroom. We'll figure it out later. Listen, it's gonna be a little tight. Everybody, the baby, baby, she at home yes. all day. Kari come home, and then the bigger kids come home. And I've literally already heard through my little baby what happened at school. Now here come the older two. Mom, mom, mom. Like at one time, and I'm like, I don't even know who mom is no more. I'm right. over it. I don't even know. 
<laughs> right, right. You yeah, you just gotta and then and then you gotta make sure you listen to everybody's story. They could be saying the same right. the messenger. So you're like, Okay, baby, okay. Mm hmm Yep. I, I agree. I know, I understand. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much for doing this live with me, Tyra. Oh, uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Definitely. Everybody, make sure y'all get Tyra's book. Guys, I, will post I, put, I put my lipstick on so I can have some shady lips. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> I will be posting her book on my Insta story and my Instagram after we get off live. And I thank everybody for tuning in. Tyra, I will be talking to you soon just so I can keep up with you and what's going on. And whenever I'm in New York, I will definitely be hitting you up like, hey. Yeah, let me know. Yes, please. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Y'all be good. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Was y'all feeling live or what? When live lit? Oh, husband's here, you guys. Yeah, I got to go. <laughs> lay my edges on, me on thank you guys for all tuning in this was an amazing interview i so love all of y'all who tuned in um again get tyra's book and make sure you guys tune in wednesday night for another live interview that i will have going on i will be posting her shortly and thank y'all again all right see y'all later bye